Okay, so we're going to create a building now. I'm just going to basically delete um, everything on the left hand side apart from the plane and the main camera. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a sphere for starters. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to push it down. I'm going to just move it down a bit. There we go. I'm going to put it on the center of my plane. So just over here on the position where the transform is, I just put 0, 0, 0, which is the exact center of my plane there. Okay, so <clears throat> this is this sphere is going to be my the base of my tower. Um, I'm just going to make it a little bit wider. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so um, I'll just pan around it basically a little dome shape and uh, I'm gonna have sort of like a center point tower look I'm gonna grab a, um, a cylinder and I'm just gonna carefully place this on top just grab the moving tool and just move it and I'll just pan around make sure it's good that looks okay should bring it down a bit and I'll let it intersect as well um, one thing I haven't shown you guys yet is the perspective and I'm just going to hit the Y perspective to go top down and that way I can actually position it perfectly in the middle um, so that's one way of doing it. Another way is, of course, going down to the position and saying, well, I want my X and Y to be exactly in the middle. Uh, actually, Y will leave there. Z will put on zero. And that's probably perfect right there. Um, I am going to make it thinner, though, um, when I duplicate it. So for now, that is good enough. That looks like a good base. I'm going to uh, duplicate my cylinder. And I'm just going to move it. So there's the second one. Now this second one, I'm going to make it thinner. Okay, so I'm going to grab the scale tool and I'm just going to pull that in pull that in and let's see how it's looking yeah it's not too bad a little bit more Okay. <clears throat> now on top what we're going to do is create a cylinder and the cylinder is going to be a little bit different there it's going to be like so and I'll just move this in place oh it's a bit too big but shrink that down so all I'm doing is basically using the moving tool and the scaling tool and trying to get this about right I'll center that so zero zero that's perfectly centered I'll scale it down a bit Not 
too bad so far. I mean, you can make any type of tower you like. I'm going for something that will look similarly to Center Point Tower. You can go for your conventional buildings, it's up to you. Okay, next thing I want is <clears throat> sphere, and I'll just make that sphere zero, zero, and scale that up, and let's raise it up. So far, looking pretty good. Um, I can notice underneath the ball is coming out. What I might do is um, just elevate it so we can't see the ball from underneath. And let's have a look. Let's have a look from this side. Just want to flatten it a little bit. It's a bit too high up. I'm going to grab the scaling tool, I'm just going to squash the top like so. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, might raise it a little bit. Bring it a little bit down as well. <clears throat> okay, so far so good. Um, I do want to add a little bit more. And with this cylinder, I'm just going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to try something, see if it works, and let's make it bigger. And then, there we go. Cool. Okay. Things are looking good so far. Um, I will continue to add more things to this. I think before I, I do anything... Um, do anything further, what I might start to do is actually, I might actually start to um, get some color into it. Okay. Okay, so color time. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go down here to our colors, create a new material. I'm gonna go with black and select black. I'm gonna drop that on the base here. Um, I'll go with a, a gray color for the. Um, For the cylinder poles there, so try and get a darkish grey, <clears throat> and just keep doing this. Maybe add a light grey. And uh, same one for the pole up here. Okay, now for the rest of it, I think I might, um, might go with one of our wood textures. Um, just have a look, see how it looks. Okay, and Throw that onto here as well. Might right, and the inside here might put uh, the dark gray on that. Okay, not finished, but um, so far it's looking okay. Um, I might actually just scroll down here. And 
create a door for myself. Okay, so I'm just going to create, let's see, I'm going to create a cube and just bring that towards me. Scale it down, it's a bit too big. This could be my elevator. Okay, um, we'll make it a little bit thinner. And I'll just push that back into the wall. Um, perfect. Okay, um, so to get the elevator doors, Basically, I'll, I'll probably just duplicate the elevator itself, scale it down, pull them out. And just give it a different color. Okay, so simple tutorial, but basically we've just created a building. Now, if I wanted to move the whole building, if I had a, if I made a whole city, okay, let's pretend I made 30 different towers and I wanted to move one tower at a time, um, what I would need to do is connect all of these um, using parents. Now, what I'll do is I'll use the base, which is this sphere here, to be the parent, and I'm just going to drag everything on top of it, just like this. So that it is a, the cylinder is uh, the sphere is the parent, and everything belongs to it. It's a child of that. And now I can actually rename this, call it center point tower and if I wanted to move center point tower I can now basically just go and say this whole building will now move wherever I want it to go okay I can even rotate it if I choose or I can make it bigger or smaller Okay, so that was our second tutorial. I would like you guys to create your own towers, create about two or three of them, and then we're going to look at how to create terrain, and then we'll actually bring in our towers into our terrain. Excellent. Okay, so now you have your building. What we want to do, because we need to save this building, because we're going to import it into um, our next tutorial which is going to be an, an actual island and we're going to have this tower in the middle of the island with trees and the whole forest um, surrounding it. So how can we use this um, tower later on? Well what we normally do if we just go back to our assets folder so we're in colors go back to assets we're going to create another folder in here and we're going to call it prefabs. Just zoom in there so you can see. 
prefabs and just double click in there and basically what you're doing, gonna do is grab your center point tower and you're gonna drag it into your prefabs and what happens with um, your free uh, prefabs is you can drag them in anytime you want and you've got multiple versions um, of the same thing and you can just you can have as many as you want you just keep dragging them on so prefabs after you've cre created something especially when it's taken a few things with different materials and textures you can drag it into your uh, folder call it prefabs and um, basically what that will do is allow you to use that asset um, somewhere else even in another game we're going to save our project now now to save it's very very simple basically um, you don't worry about save project all you need to do is save the scene so by clicking save scene it's for the first time it's going to ask you where you want to save this project now what I would do is create a new folder and I would call it um, um, well actually I think we already named a folder um, my my first unity project unity game and we're just going to save it straight in there and we're going to call this one uh, center point tower and we'll hit save there we go done 